the euro dollar here on the radar screen we actually have a buy since 129.80 we closed the week at 131 but you can when i go to the chart you will see that we had really big moves with regards to the euro dollar from last week we actually came up this is it was quite interesting trade in the euro last week because we started the week on a positive note versus the US dollar we traded above the 130 and that was the beginning of the move so we bought it above the 138 it took us all the way up to the 131.45 which is brilliant I mean this is that is a big structural point and it is very understandable, it, it, it makes a lot of sense that it goes all the way up to 131, 38 and it pauses and it's kind of, it's sold off or it repelled below that and we have a, which should give us a minor sell signal, it is not a st st structural point, it is what we call it a it's not even, it doesn't have the qualifications of a turtle suit, but it is a relevant point, which is the 130.70, and we, which was actually also Friday's high. I mean, this is really nice. I mean, this, what I like about this, it is getting all the, all of them, they're getting packaged together nicely. So, With this, we are, yes, I do have a sell signal, yes, I have the bias to the downside, but we came down to the next selling point, which is the 130.08, and we didn't really break below it, we made the low of 130.12, so my significant point is 130.08, so I will only sell it below 130 or 8 so my selling point is 130 or 8 that will be my selling point so I'm gonna sell it below 130 That would be my selling point and if it does I have a structure point which is the 128.73 it is the same thing from last week I'm gonna leave it as the same and if I go short below 138 my stop is going to be the market side 130 33 so that is the easy the short part for the short sell for the uh, euro now I'm going to identify a buying point and just looking at this chart the only place I can reasonably buy it I have a structure point as 130.70 right there that's my structure point and I have those two levels here so I will buy it above my structure point just to remain to keep the the consistency so I'm just buying above the structure point so my long point is going to be above one thirty seventy two this is going to be my start my long point this is my structure and that would be also my stop So, for the euro yen, for the euro dollar, I'm buying it above 130.72, and that's going to be my structural long point, and it's going to be my stop. On the short side, I'm also going to go short below the 130.08, which is, I think, uh, yeah, 130.08, which is also going to, which is not a structural point, but it is a selling point. My structure short point is the 
73 and my stop is going to be 30 pips so it's going to be my stop one 30 33 okay that is the euro dollar let me save that and we're at the top of the hour now so let's take